So either cut something from your price or stop showing so many ads before the movie. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the best channel on YouTube, to the best show that you love watching every week. <laughs> So today we are talking about cinema and why so many people think cinema is dying and is cinema really dying? Okay, so in my opinion there is three reasons why I believe that cinema is dying and not so many people are going at the cinema anymore. First one is price, way too expensive. Second one is content, like remakes or superheroes, so a lot of people don't want to see that. And the third one is streaming services, which are getting better and better and their original content is very good. So the first one, the price. Last week I was at the cinema with a friend of mine. Yeah right, as if you have friends. <laughs> okay, joking. So, I do have friends and I was at the cinema and the ticket was 12 pounds now that's uh, i think like about 15 dollars and 13 14 euros which is quite expensive you know you can go to the cinema every week and pay that amount of money every week so but that's not it so i had a drink which you know you have a drink i had a coke which costs i think four pounds again five euros five six dollars you know there and so far we are at like 16 17 pounds and if you want to get some popcorn also three four five pounds more so to make everything easier 20 pounds you have to pay 20 pounds to watch a movie per person now there's these deals family deals and kids deals but they're not gonna make that much of a difference as we all know on top of that you watch so many ads, so many ads. So either cut something from your price or stop showing so many ads before the movie. I don't understand that. Like, it's it's so greedy in many levels. And I get, I know that I've read many articles that say that the theaters in the first three months of the movie, I think, they don't get paid from the tickets. They only get paid from what they sell, like, uh, sweets and drinks and stuff like that and number two content and what's actually what movies are coming out it's true that there's a lot of remakes there's a lot of superhero movies but that's because they all they make money you know if they wouldn't make money the studios and hollywood wouldn't be making those kind of movies and whenever an original idea is coming out for example district 9 i don't know if you've seen district 9 i'm sure if you haven't you have to watch it. Very original, very good science fiction movie. And people they really support it, you know. So we choose, we as customers, we choose which movies and which are gonna watch and which we aren't gonna watch. So we have to be, I think we have to be more careful with movies that we support. So the superhero movies, I love superhero movies. And I, but I get that they are all the same. There's a few of them different and that's why they stand out like movies like Deadpool or last year's Logan. You know, they stand out because they are something different. But all the Marvel stuff, for example, it's basically the same movie, just packaged differently. Which is not a bad thing, they are entertaining, but if you're gonna pay 20 pounds, again, more or less, if you're gonna pay 20 pounds per person, at least, that's the way I think it, at least the movie has to be worth it. And the third reason, um, streaming services, Netflix, Amazon Prime and all those, Hulu and I don't know how many are out there, they are making very good content and they have original movies, they have original shows and they are subscription based which means you pay five six seven eight pounds a month and then you have all those this content from your computer from your phone from your tv you can sit and watch many i don't know episodes or stuff like that which is it's very good and it's cheaper than going to the cinema and you are on your own couch on your own you know house or anything and by the way, I'm watching um, 
Amazon's new series Jack Ryan which is very good so I would definitely recommend that if you want to watch a, it's it's not the typical like CIA spy uh, show but it feels like I'm watching you know every episode feels like a movie it's very good very interesting so yeah this is my opinion on why people aren't going to the cinema anymore I think it's because of three, those three reasons. I don't know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you already haven't. And I will see you in the next one.